This is a 1993 Rainbow D4C SE and it is in desperate need of bearing replacements. Not the greatest wind down. Now I've heard some that are worse than this but let's see if we can tear this down and uh, give those bearings some love.
So this D4C has three bearings. They're all 6201s. And this one here says 6201LU. It just actually means rubber cap on this side. If you look closely, made in Taiwan. So, yep, Taiwanese bearings. And on the other side, it also says Taiwan, but it says 6201Z, and that just means, the Z means the metal cap. So two of those, both on the armature, and the one in that lower bearing plate, it's also a 6201, and this one says made in Japan. I think that's funny. It's, it's American vacuum with non-American parts. 6201 NSL. But on both sides, it's actually rubber, rubber caps. So because all of these have rubber caps that can be popped off, you could rebuild them if they're not too far gone. I think I'm probably just going to go ahead and get new ones. But uh, obviously this one here is kind of rusty, although I could probably get a lot of that rust off. This one, eh, that one doesn't feel very good. These two do not feel that bad. The ones directly closest to the armature itself, the commutator, that's, that's not that bad. This one is the closest to the water, to the water bowl. How about we take a look at these, see what kind of shape they're in. So unfortunately, the part that came off does not show me the bearings, so I've got to do the other side. But as you can see, whatever grease you have left in there, well, it's not in really good shape. So now, let me pull off the other side. See if I can get a better view of what I really want to see. Any day now. Is that thing really stuck on there? It was. Okay. Ah. All right. So it's that type right there where they have really made sure that the actual ball bearings themselves are not exposed. Not, not directly. And, you know, whatever grease or lubrication you have, yeah, it's pretty much long gone. And when I spin it, it actually feels like, oh, I don't know. There's like, like sand or some kind of grittiness in there. Alrighty. Let's take a look at the caps. Well, it's not too chunky. It's not that great either. Alright, let's put that one off the side. Let's see what's going on with this guy. like it might be about the same thing. See, and I can't pop that out. This one does not feel nearly as bad, but as you can see, we don't really have a whole lot of extra lubrication in here, right? There's just, there's not really anything there. It's very, very minimal. It doesn't feel nearly as bad as this one over here. It doesn't feel grainy or anything. But definitely, this one would be um, repackable with my magic little mobile mobile one EMB grease. We could pack that right out, put the cap right back on, and this would probably be acceptable to run for well many many more decades, maybe. Hey, it's lasted for 27 years, so this is 2020, and it's a 1993 machine. And this one is the same. Ooh, a little more, there's a little more grease on that cap than this one. 
Yeah, this one, this one's got a little bit more on there. And take a close look. Okay, so I am going to see how much these cost on eBay. And I'm probably going to do what I normally do, and that is go and buy a 10 pack. So I'll let you know what I come up with.